perfect yesterday we tried covering what are data types all about how exactly we can create data types in pega right and then we created a data type and saw how, what happens when you try to create a data type there's a data class which gets created and also uh, we added our properties we created a key out of it by going over the records right and uh, we, we told that okay the state code is going to be the key is what we said and then so on and so forth we were able to add it and see how exactly it gets added into the database as well perfect so today we will be taking one step further from here and then going to uh, a new topic which is called as page properties we'll try to see what are page properties today very important topic pretty much every data which gets uh, pulled up within pega will be on a page so need to understand page properties in detail you know so in pega to start this let's start from pretty basic right let's say what is a single value property i think we covered this like you know at a very high level in our initial classes but i am just going over again so we have a clear context what is a single value property for example when we build the data model for our application here if you see uh, if i go under app and if when we are trying to understand properties we created a lot of single value properties right sorry not here we created a lot of single value properties initially when we were trying to understand how exactly uh, properties are going to be created to do that we did a lot of single value properties is what we have created what are those let us see so age city country email first name last name all these are single value properties we created right yes or no first name your first name will be one value it won't hold more than one value does it make sense last name when you try to fill a form for example if you are signing up for facebook in first name you won't give 100 values it will be only one value age all these are single value properties right these are single value properties but if you see when we were trying to work create a work object we saw that all these single value properties were appearing on a page yes or no were they appearing on a page on our clipboard for example i do have this c6 here c6 has if you see the first name as vishwas the first name as vishwas last name as nayak age as 24 email as vishwas na, vishwas at gmail.com a city a state a country and a gender all these are single value properties do we agree every property here has one value that's why we are calling this single value property yes or no right so these are single value properties which we created but these properties were available on clipboard on what where were we able to see these properties on clipboard your work page right that is a page sort of a property if you see if you come down and see your work page see this is a page sort of a property your work page and this particular page is holding first name last name all these single value properties are available on this page can i say for example if i am collecting resumes from 10 students can i say 10 resumes are nothing but every single page will have single value properties for that particular candidate yes or no yes right so page is nothing but a page property is nothing but something which will hold multiple single value properties does it make sense these single value properties are multiple it's not just one so many multi single value properties are being held in one page 
So, this is our understanding with respect to a single page. A single page, what is a, what is a page? In Pega, a single page, so we, so we know what is a single value property, but a single page or a page, a single page or a page, you can call it a page, okay? A page property is nothing but which holds multiple properties. In multiple properties, it is holding first name, last name, and we can assign one value at a time. Do we agree? Do we? Uh, when we try to see, we don't see Nikhil's details on that page. Do we? We are only seeing Vishwas details here. Are we seeing Nikhil's details? No. Why? Because this particular PI work page is specific for Vishwas. Do we agree? Right? So, one page for a set of records is what we are using here. That's what Pega is helping us do. We didn't create that automatically, Pega did it here. But there are many scenarios where we might need that. We will see that. But for now, understand what is a single value property. What is a, a page property? Page property is nothing but which holds multiple single value properties within itself, which we saw. PI work page is something which we have already seen. Example. PI work page. We already have seen the PI work page, which holds multiple single value properties. Same way as there is something called as page list. What is a page list? Imagine this as... Mm, this also holds multiple properties, but you can assign multiple values at a time. How does a page list look like? I will show you. Based on that, you can understand. Very straightforward. When you have list of such pages, for example, right now, this is list of one single candidate, right? This way, if I have 10 students, then I will have 10 PY work pages, right? Yes or no? If it's a list of students, if I have to maintain, you know, if list of resumes which I am trying to hold with me, then I will see 10 such pages. I want to show you one page list property. I think I should be having some here. Okay. No. Delegation configurations, if any. Nope, nope, nope. This is a better example than we, you know, showing you on this thing. That's why I wanted to show you here. That's why. Let us see if we can find. Well, nope. Okay, that's fine. So imagine these as multiple uh, pages of single value properties on each page. For example, if you say, if you have a list of candidates for hiring, okay? That will be, let's say, 10 resumes you have. 10 resumes, okay? And every resume, let us say, is a page. Resume is a page. So, resume of one will be of first candidate. Resume of two will be of second candidate. Resume of three will be of third candidate. And under this, you will have, you know, resume dot, if you want to access the properties, the properties will look something like this. You know, the, the, it, it will have a first name, right? Resume will have a first name, last name, phone number, right? So on and so forth. So this is for first candidate. And this will be for second candidate. This will be for third candidate. But ultimately, you will have 10 pages like this 
everything is a page but together this will be called as a page list does it make sense some very importantly what you should understand here is how are they separated are through indexes you can identify them through indexes page list is identified through indexes it is exactly similar to something called as array list that is where pega has you know implemented it from there is something called as array list in java you know this also is exactly similar to that i mean from here is what they have taken it what is it it is a list of objects ultimately you know and they have taken it from here if you want to understand how exactly they have done only that's why i am telling you this not necessary for you to know but what is this list imagine this as a list of candidates who have come for interview and you will be keeping their resume on top one top of each other but if you see when you say you'll say i have 10 resumes for the candidates and inside that every resume for example the first candidate's first name can be found in the first resume second candidate's last name can you find in the second resume same way a phone number of third candidate can be found in this thing so how will you refer it resume one dot first name will give his first name of that first candidate resume one dot last name will give his last name does it make sense guys yes no perfect so single value property a page property a page list property there is something also called as page group property what is this it is exactly similar to this thing exactly similar to this thing right it is also a list only but it's, it's a group sort of a property which means instead of having indexes they have names here there is a text for example Vishwas Anand Shilpa what is the difference between page list and page group the reference is index here in the sense there is an integer number through which you can access these property for example if i want third candidate's first name i will say resume three dot first name then i can get the value for this thing it could be anything here but for example if i want phone number of shilpa how will i get it resume i have to pass shilpa here instead of index number i will have to pass text like this in a page group does it make sense just for your understanding you know you won't be using much of page groups your the maximum you'll be using is page list and page pages is high usage thing page list few places page group you need to know the difference because they will ask you what is the page group and what is the page list simple understanding is it is a list of you know pages which are uh, differentiated through index these are list of pages how, how do you differentiate them how are they unique based on indexes same thing for group this is a group of pages differentiated through a text right or a string you can call text or string that's the understanding make sense guys clear so far okay perfect so going back to our single pages right so page can have multiple page can have multiple single value properties why do we need these pages let us understand that why do we need these pages is what could be a question why are we using pages why can't we handle everything through properties might be a question for you within pega we need to whenever you try to build we need to include reusability in the sense you write it once and you should be able to use it multiple times you don't have to be writing it again what does that mean we'll see that okay just understand we are this approach is something which will appreciate or which will uh, it, it is built to uh, you know enhance or improve the reusability in your application okay how will we do that we will see that if you have attended my initial classes i have shown you how exactly object is created for a class that object created for a class is nothing but a page in pega in pega we call it a page if you have not catch, uh, caught up with my initial classes you can catch up on that in my uh, you know uh, on the youtube channel and then you can see 
the classes uh, were explained in one of the uh, sessions and then that will be giving you a very clear understanding of what is an object and what is a page you know it exactly similar to that you know but understand this thing a, a basic understanding is okay to hold those properties for example if i have to write down something a set of properties i would take a page and i would write it down right imagine in pega you are writing it down on a page like that and something which you should understand is these pages belong to a class for example the py work page we saw belongs to the work class yes or no this is the py work page right this is the py work page and if you see the class it belongs to is alpha alpha auto hyphen work yes or no right perfect so we know that now that a page property should be belonging to a class right and this is the class it is belonging to for example now if i have to access for example, first name, you know how I will be accessing? If I have to reach to this first name, I will have to reference it within Pega. You have to reference it like this. First name, if I have to access, I will say py work page dot first name. Same way, last name also will be uh, will be refer referred like this only. You can't just say first name and you you won't get the value. You will have to say py workpage dot first name, py workpage dot last name. In the sense, you have to tell the context from where do you want this first name from py workpage, right? Same thing for age. Does it make sense? Yes. No. Let us say the first name is sitting. On a customer page in py work page i have created another page called customer page then you know where it will be the clipboard structure would look like this for example if there is another page under py work page then it would look like something like this customer page dot first name and the value could be anything say this was right if you have another page in between your work page and the property lies in one of these pages one of the different page which belongs to a different class let us say we'll see how exactly we do that why do we need that is also something we will understand you know so next thing is where do we create these pages right where do we create these pages so these pages are necessary when you try to create properties at the data class and you want to reference it what do we mean by that? We'll try to understand that also. Let us go one step further. And in our example, in auto insurance example, let us say we want to capture uh, mm, reusable properties. Let's say we want to capture, we are doing auto insurance, right? Let's say vehicle details and claim details is something we want to capture. You know this is how you will be drafting your requirement i mean in your head you have to do it but right now i'm picturizing it so that you guys can understand easily let us say you need some data from for vehicle details of course you are doing auto insurance you will need some data for vehicle right so let us say some data has to be extracted for this thing and what properties would we need for this thing every vehicle comes with a win number do we agree there is a win number there is a brand it belongs to there is a model under that brand and then there is make year right which year this was made right and uh, if this was an old car if it had a prior insurance right these are some properties a vehicle will be possessing yes or no these are the attributes a vehicle will be having right perfect uh, okay that is agreed now uh, let us say um, so where do where do these properties go then right yesterday did we understand what is a data layer yes or no we understood what is a data layer right we created state code and this thing don't you think this is where we should be creating the 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 data layer where this data has to be saved that is why we understood this thing right why why do we use data types 
to create and save any data which we need yes or no and how do i create a data type how do i create a data type i come on to data types in the explorer and then right i click on this dot add data type yes or no do you remember guys perfect and provide what you want to create I want vehicle data to be captured. So I will say I want vehicle data. So what we are trying to do here is every concept we are covering, we are stitching that in the following days concept. Yes or no? Are we not seeing all that which we have learned before getting stitched with what we are trying to learn on the new day? That's what we are trying to do here. So whatever you have learned is something you are putting into implementation. So I need a vehicle data type. I don't want to go on advanced and uh, do anything fancy. Right, it has to be into alpha auto only. So I'm not going to change anything here. Perfect. It's part of auto insurance application. Perfect. So if you see, whenever we try to create a data type, what Pega does for us, it creates a data class, concrete data class. Did we see that yesterday? Right. We saw that yesterday, right? Okay, fine. In our data types class, we saw that it creates one concrete class. That is this concrete class. Perfect. I say submit and it will give me a form telling that, hey, we created a data class for you. I mean, a data type for you. This is what it looks like. Perfect. Now here, what should we do? What can we do here? Right, very good. So we have to add the fields here. What are my fields? One is win for my vehicle. Add and submit another. And I also want to get the brand. And I also want to get the model. And I also want to get uh, the make here, right? This has to be make here is an integer. So let us take integer here instead of text. Integer, right? And okay. Does it have prior insurance is something which we want also. So we will say prior insurance. We will keep it as a yes or no insurance and they have to choose this let us say this will be what do we have what do we have do we have pick list okay we have pick list let's say it's a value yes or no which the user has to choose and i will see here yes other choices no submit see all these fields got added let me save this. Did you understand how we did this? How we created this particular uh, model? Just came here, clicked and said, okay, vehicle and that's it. So we were able to add all these details and it, this got popped up. Now, if you see, if I go to my work class, you will see that if I go to auto you will see there will be work class and data class but under data class you will see there is a vehicle class which got created yes or no and then you will see there is a data model also built for it and properties also which got created are these the single value properties which we created and what is the belongs to class for these properties data class right this is the data class it is the vehicle data class all these properties are created under vehicle data class yes or no this is a concrete class this is a concrete class which pega automatically created when we created a data layer or a data type for this thing see concrete class created by pega for us 
and when i say test connection what does it give me it gives me the table it got mapped to right perfect so we have done this exercise so just to give you a reminder i showed you that what we have done so far is just created a data class and we have added few properties to it but very important thing which we have to notice here is oh this thing is in these properties are created under data class very important these properties are created under data class now can i use them under work class for example let us say let me go to my work class uh, let me switch from here oh no that's okay i can let us go to this section remember we created this section customer details section where we added properties yes or no right we created and we added some properties we remember that it's loading okay we created this first name last name and everything now let us say i want to use those properties which i created and let me add a dynamic layout to the bottom of this or what i can also do is is it not loading okay it came okay where is this guy okay i created a dynamic layout and let me just like last time let me just try to drag and drop these properties and see if pega allows me to add these properties let us see here See, it is asking something. Do you remember what happened when we dragged and dropped properties from work class last time? It just created us the property with the fields, right? Do you remember? Right? But here when I am trying to drag and drop these properties, it is telling, hey, you dropped this property, that's fine. But do you have a page here which I can refer and access this property what pega is telling me here is your property make property is not a part of this class in the sense this property is not visible to this class why because it is in data class are we able to understand now my problem is i want to use these properties in my section which is under work class but how do i do that to do that right to do that Pega gives us a feature called as page. Right now, we have single value properties. All that we created was single value properties. Right? All that we did so far was single value properties. Yes or no? Yes. On work class, I want to access these properties, but I am not able to. To do that, what we do, we create a page under your work class. Under your work class, we create a page. How can you create a page? How can you create a page? Right click on your work class and say go to your data model right and say page is also a property okay so the way you create is slightly different right click on work come to data model and then let me show you again you can right click on work and you can create from there or you can right click from here and also you can from data model also you can do it right click here and say property very simple nothing fancy so i'm trying to capture vehicle information let us call it personal vehicle page i want it to be as part of auto insurance and it has to be in work class okay perfect once i create it you will see what is the property type here I don't want text I want let me click on change and you tell me what I want what do I want single page property right I want a single page property why am I doing this let me close this coming back again I wanted to access the data class properties in my work class I was not able to do it why because Pega doesn't understand that Pega is telling me hey the property you are trying to refer to 
that is not visible to me it is in data class and i am not and i am a work class under work class if you have to access that property you need to have a page reference is what my guy is telling me that is why i am coming and i am saying hey well i know how to create single page properties i know single page properties hold multiple single value properties i can create a reference for that right i can create a reference for that that's why what i am saying i am saying i'll create a property right and then i will call it are you guys able to get what we are trying to do here guys that's why i'm taking you through the problem not directly jumping into the solution so i'm showing you where exactly you will get a issue because of which you will need this most of the developers don't understand why a page property is needed that doubt you shouldn't have come create a property click on change this is not a text property you need here you want a single page property right as soon as you change it to single page then you know pega tells you asks you from which uh, you know class definition do you want to pull these properties from in the sense what is the data class you want to create this page property for right this is my vehicle right my vehicle details is what i want to pull into work that is why i am creating a page under work referencing this class is this clear all of you if you have any doubt stop me and i can like you know take you back again and bring here we were not able to access these data class properties which we created from the uh, data type we created brand make model pre and win but we were not able to access it why because work class is not able to see into what is uh, in your into a data class it is not visible to it to be visible you have to create a link and that link can only be established by creating page a single page that is what we did what did we say hey this is a page which belongs to work class and it is referencing the class which has these properties yes or no perfect so this is how you will be creating a page in pega are you able to understand how to create a page in pega and why it is needed how you can create modify it and then go to that particular class point it here now when you save this guy you know expand and see here right now you just have the previous properties which we had created under work class uh, sorry okay your, your new page also got populated i wanted to refresh it and so but that's okay see if you see your work class there is this personal vehicle page did we create it just now yes or no see if you go and see in the history 1102 is when 1105 is when it got created see? does it make sense guys now what we can do when you try to save this guy of course it got populated here also something which you can notice is on the expand expansion you will see those properties also should be available here are they available here under your work class now through this page through this page are we able to see this yes or no perfect similarly what is my requirement right now i am trying to you know capture vehicle details and claim details for vehicle details i did for let for claim also let us do let's try to repeat that cycle right what did we do to create a data model what do we do to create a data model or a data type what do we do to create a data type
it's very good click on data types come here i have vehicle details i want claims now so i will say claims here what this will do pega whenever i say i want a data type pega automatically will create a concrete data class for me yes or no you see this right submit and the properties i want to capture here i can add through fields right that's what we did there also i want to capture if there was prior claims if they have already claimed something you know for example the glass the mirror glass of an automobile if they have already claimed they are only supposed to claim once in a year they are not supposed to claim twice so you need to know if there have been any previous claims that has to be let's say that has to be a boolean right true or false and how much amount they have claimed i will say claim amount if they already claimed some amount how much is that and this is not text let us see any proper appropriate data type for that okay currency is there right we can choose currency for that claim amount and if there was a claim already let us also capture the reason for that claim could be accident or anything you know god forbid claim reason right claim reason could be a big thing so text one line won't be sufficient they could be writing some history my son went and hit to agar this thing and all so let us say that will be a paragraph right and let me say submit this should pop me up three fields perfect now that we have this how can i access these properties in work class very good very good whoever said that so that is the thing which you should be your take away here now when i click on this guy auto you will see you know under data you will see claims also these properties to be able to for me to be able to access these properties i need to create a page right is or no and where will i be creating this page right now i want to access these properties under work class so i will be creating under work class i want to i want to access this these properties under work class so i have to create a page under work class exactly similar to personal vehicle page is or no how do we do that right right click on property or data model anywhere you know you will have a create option from anywhere no need to worry and call this as what are this these are claims so i'll call this claims page right very important guys if you understand this thing half of your life will be very easy in pega you know because all that you will be dealing with is pages within pega and here what do i do i change from text to a single page and of course you your page belongs to the work class but what is that you want to pull here you want to pull the claims information the properties in claims is what you want to access say claims and save it make sense guys did we understand how exactly we can create uh, pages and create properties and add that to corresponding you know classes and how we can reference that now that we are done with that you know let's try to see if we can reference them in sections right so to do that let us create a let us create a new section and we want that of course it goes under user interface category you have sections you can right click on this thing or any other thing also and click create uh, let me close this right click here say create right this is something which you have already gone through if you have any doubts you can stop me and i'll help you understand but i'll try to design it you know on a faster pace personal vehicle section is what i want to call it has to be as part of auto insurance 
application and work class perfect personal vehicle section essentially okay perfect i do a tab my identifier gets popped up create and open we have done this right if you go and see our sections class you will be understanding as soon as you this gets loaded you have to first change it to full section editor say submit nothing fancy here something which you have already done there will be a layout which will be popped up and as we did in that let's try to change the title for this guy mm. let's have personal how can i do that i can click on the layout on this gear icon on the layout and then for for example i can change the layout let's say i want a inline grid double uh, and then header title as let me call it personal vehicle info perfect i think this is good so this should give me a header here very good now that that is done this thing got popped up and i also need to add those properties right so to do that let me add another dynamic layout into this guy uh, structure under structural i can find my dynamic layouts i'm just adding another layout to this existing layout right and then i want to say that this has to be um, or should this be default i'll say other and i want it to be stacked to the left stacked with labels on left perfect uh, done click submit in the same way now what i can do for claims also i need an exact similar section one best way of doing that is in pega uh, you can drag and drop from here and also you can recreate sometimes you would have developed a lot of stuff here and if you want an exactly similar section for example billing address and shipping address they are exactly similar details right yes or no like the properties are exactly same do you agree in such scenarios what you can do you can just right click here on the layout which you want to copy copy it you know and then paste below see this and all that you have to do is just come here and modify what you need to modify here right for example if i just have to change the uh, label here right because everything else remains same for me here like before i even design it i am like making sure this is how reusability can be achieved are we not reusing what we built here just by performing a simple copy paste yes or no right these are few things which will help you develop faster in Pega. You can't do such stuff in programming languages. Of course, you can copy paste, but not this easy. Like, you know, we were just able to replicate all this thing just by copying and pasting and just changing the label to claims info. Easy enough? Okay. Now, now that we are done with this thing, what do we need? So, from a data model standpoint, in my personal details i want to have you know the win right the brand the make model and these properties is something which i want to pop up in my personal details uh, in this section on the personal details layout i want the, all these details to be popped up yes or no perfect so to do that Let's try to do slightly in a different way from what we did before. Let me try drag and drop. Uh, what did I do here? I want to capture data. Whenever you have to capture data, you will use these inputs, right? Text input is something you want to capture a text input. Text area is, for example, if there is a paragraph, you want to capture a date time, you'll use something like this. Same thing is what I'm trying to do here. Nothing fancy. And also what you can do, once you have done that, now you know like multiple fields you want, right? one two three four five five fields is what you want so what i can also do i can for example right click sorry right click copy and i can say paste see this i want one more paste below where did you create okay sorry not here
enter. It's okay. We'll deal with that later. I will copy. You can copy and paste and you can, you know, add multiple copy and you can say paste. Uh -oh. Something got messed up. Perfect. So you have three fields now. Uh, copy and I will say paste four and five fields all together copy yes so while you start working on this thing you will understand like you know how exactly copy paste would work just to show you like how exactly you can you know fast pace your development using stuff like this does it make sense yes no okay so if you see in this my model uh, sorry make here is an integer so i do have just 10 minutes so let's try to wrap up as soon as possible uh, so now i'll show you how exactly we reference the properties right <clears throat> let me open this particular guy and I will say dot do you see personal vehicle page here this is how you will be accessing that when I say personal vehicle page I can get the personal vehicle page but that is not the property I want to show here right what do I want to show here I want to show my for example brand so after i choose this i have to access it by clicking another dot do am i getting brand property here now so very important to reference that property you have to use the page reference dot to get that particular property though it is a vehicle property under vehicle class are we able to use that under a work class section yes or no perfect right so see brand got populated here in the same way i can say dot dot model right and i can change this to uh, text it put to i can say this has to be an integer do we have integer perfect integer and i will say dot vehicle personal vehicle page dot make an year does it make sense guys how we are able to do this right and of course i have forgotten the win right dot personal vehicle page dot win right is able to get the win also now prior insurance what is prior insurance prior insurance if you see is a radio button yes or no right so let me change that to px radio buttons radio buttons and then i will say dot and i'll say personal command personal vehicle page dot prior insurance submit am i able to get all my properties here let me see this though they are in my vehicle class vehicle data class i am able to access that under the work class all that we are taking away from today's class is how do we create a page why do we need a page and how exactly can i reference that on my user interface did we see that today yes no perfect so in the same way for claims as well even if the time runs out i'll be adding that here and you guys can take a look at that later you know in my this thing i can do the same thing here 
copy paste and paste so i have three properties right mm, the first one is claims right why is it not reflecting because it is not refreshed let me get those properties that is the takeaway from today's class what are you taking away oh how can i create how can i create page properties within pega and why do we need it because work for example the class you're working on will not have visibility to those classes only then in that in those cases you will be getting them i need a claim amount someone just joined like before the hopes are being wiped perfect okay and here i will say claim amount uh, the amount has to be in currency let us see if we have anything for currency i do have currency right and i will say how do i access that now dot claims page dot so you should have a dot first and then here it is an operator it is in programming right not just in this thing in every programming to access or to tell the programming compiler this is the context of the uh, of your particular programming you will have to use that operator that is that is why it is like telling when you have to separate names you will use comma you can also use space but in english that word you have to use comma to separate stuff same way if you have to reference properties programming guys told okay use dot for that make sense perfect so this is how we will be adding and we saw how we can reference the sections here i think we will be running out of time but this is the understanding i'll be adding this entire thing to my video don't worry about that but just a takeaway from today is how exactly you can create a page what is a page all about how exactly you can reference it and perform different operations right did we see that today yes or no perfect i'm glad if you guys have understood that uh if the class closes in a few minutes okay i think we have six more minutes i guess no worries let me try to modify this also this will be a checkbox i guess let's change this to a checkbox and i will say dot claims page dot uh get claims perfect submit save something we should understand here is how did we reference them is something will be your takeaway from this particular class how did you reference them we were able to reference them by page name dot that particular property yes or no see are we able to see those details like all those properties getting popped up brand model make when insurance yes no perfect so this checkbox is not looking pretty so what we can do we can add something called as a caption to this i guess is there a caption tab uh checkbox caption okay prior claims right and then they can check yes or no if they check it it is yes they, they have prior claims if they leave it blank that's fine that's what it means save so we were able to reference all those properties and also use that on our section and we were able to we are able also able to see that on our ui yes or no right did you guys understand how exactly a uh, page is created what is a page all about what can it hold stuff like that yes no i'll say ford see mustang 2022 some junk characters here yes clear claims let's say this value reason accident and you can check this box but it looks pretty cool right personal vehicle info claims info 
is it not are the sections which you see day in day out when you try to look at the user interfaces right yes no perfect thank you thank you for attending today's class this was all about you know what are pages in pega and we understood them from a grassroots level if you have liked this uh, enroll to our course and then i'll be happy to take you through the other concepts perfect if you have any has have any questions i can wait or you can whatsapp me on my on the group also we can discuss there and whoever have not paid the fees i would request them you know if you can go ahead and you know do the payment thank you you guys have any questions yes no I'll take that as a no. Thank you for attending the class.